In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to view the data from your workouts. In the previous video, we set up the CSX C536X heart rate monitor ready for a 20 minute run. And in this video, we are going to view the data from the 20 minute run. As you will recall from the previous video, we set up the countdown timer for 10 minutes. When the timer beeped after 10 minutes, I turned around and ran back to my starting point to complete a 20 minute fast run. As you can see on the current screen, I stopped the timer when I reached the end of my run and I actually managed to complete it in 19 minutes and 20 seconds. So when I turned around, I ran a bit faster and you can see I completed this faster than 20 minutes. So when you reach the end of your workout, remember to stop the timer by pressing the set button. If you have the alarm set, then you will probably immediately want to turn off the alarm as well. So to do that, you will press the select button to change the mode. You go back to the zone view. You press the set button to turn the alarm on and off. As you can see there, it's on. As soon as you finish your run, you want to turn that off as well. So back to the stopwatch mode, we've paused that there, let's show you the other data. The first one is in. This sub-function shows the time within, above and below your training zone. So first of all we are viewing the time in the training zone. So for 14 minutes of the workout I was in the correct zone and running at the right pace. If we press the set button, this is the time I was above the training zone for one minute, so I was overexerting for one minute. And then if I press the set button again, this is the time below. So for three minutes of the workout, I was below the training zone. And typically, this is the part where you are just starting to warm up and gradually build up your pace. If I now press the select button, the next option is memory. So here we can view the data from our highest, lowest and average heart rate. So my highest heart rate was 183 beats a minute. If I press the set button, the lowest was 81. If I press the set button again, my average heart rate was 164 BPM for the 20 minute workout. So this is why it's important to make sure that you stop the timer in the heart rate pulse mode because otherwise these average numbers will not be correct. So press the select button again. We're now into the zone function. You can see we were in zone 3 and my maximum was 181 and my minimum was 153 BPM for that run. So that was my target zone that I was aiming for. If I press the select button again here we have fitness level. So directly after your workout while still wearing the chest strap, press the set button to start a five minute countdown. So you can see that's now counting down. After the countdown, which is your recovery phase, your heart rate and fitness level will be displayed. Level one means that you are very fit as your heart rate has already fallen to below 100 beats a minute five minutes after ending training. Level six means that you are not fit as your heart rate is still above 130 beats per minute five minutes after ending training. The CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training eBook also provides further information and tips for testing your fitness and recovery levels. And this can be a good gauge for making sure that you're not overtraining. So I would encourage you to read that. So that countdown timer will continue while we move through the sub-functions. So I'll press select. Next we can view the calories burnt for the 20 minute workout. So we've burnt 404. And following that, press the select button to view the fat burnt. And that was 43 grams of fat. Press the select button again, we can view the time. And the select button again, and we're back to the stopwatch. If we press the mode button, that's the main stopwatch mode, and here is the countdown timer mode, 
You can see that when it reached zero for the countdown timer, it counted down from 10 minutes. It beeped while I was running, and you can see it's currently still flashing at zero. So we'll just press select, and that resets it back to 10 minutes. So if you wish to use the countdown timer again, you can then press the set button to start the timer again. If I press the mode button again, this is the alarm. So this is just a standard watch alarm. So you can set a time for the alarm, just press the set button. And then press the select button to change the hour. Press the set button. And press the set button to change the minutes. And then press the set button again. And it returns back to hour. So to store that, press the mode button. So the alarm is currently set to off, so you can see OF at the bottom. We'll press the set button and the alarm will now sound at 8.07 a.m. every day. So you can press the set button to turn the alarm on or off. If we press the mode button again, that takes us back to the time. You can also press the set button in the time view to turn the alarm on and off as well. Press the mode button again, that takes us to pulse mode. Mode button again, this is the stopwatch. Here we have the main stopwatch mode. You can press the set button to start the stopwatch and this will run in the background even if you are in the pulse mode with the timer stopwatch running. If you press the select button this will display a split, so you can see we paused it, we're just viewing it there at 11 and then it returns and it's still counting in the background. So you can press split and there you can see it's still counting in the background. If you press set, that stops the stopwatch and if you press and hold set, keep holding set, it then zeroes the stopwatch. Okay, so we'll go back through to pulse mode. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how to very quickly set this up running for your next workout. So in the previous video we went through setting up the zone and everything else in order to do our very first workout, so that takes a bit of time. But once you've set this up, it's really quick to just get up and running for your next workout. So let's say we're going to do another workout. Again, we're going to do it in zone three. Uh, we're not going to use the countdown timer this time. We're just going to go for a run or do some other kind of workout. So let's just set everything up. First of all, we're going to zero the stopwatch. If we zero the stopwatch, you do that by holding down set and then go to the next screen, you'll see the time in, above and below has also been zeroed. If we press select again, you'll see the memory has also been zeroed. Press select again, we're in zone three, so we're going to go for a run in using zone three again. So I'm going to press set to turn the alarm on. Press select, I'm not going to use the fitness level. Calorie, I'm going to zero these calories, so I'm going to press and hold set, press select, fat, again I'm going to zero the fat reading, press and hold set, press select, time, press select again, stopwatch. So I'm now ready to go for my run, press set, and I can start running. So, this, so the timer is running, it's storing the data while I'm doing my next workout. So it literally takes a minute just to get it up and running again for your next workout. So I'll stop the timer, press the set button, press the select button to go to the zone mode, and then I'll press the set button to turn the alarm off. We have now demonstrated all of the features in the CSX C536X heart rate training watch. 
I would also recommend reading the CSX Heart Rate Monitor Training eBook, which provides further information and tips for training and improving your fitness level. If you have any questions using the Heart Rate Training Watch, please do not hesitate to contact us direct at www.csxprosupport.com and we will be more than happy to help.